In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the options, the view options in File Explorer in Windows 8, um, which is basically the same program that we used to call Windows Explorer. So if you are in your start area here, click on your desktop, and in the lower left hand corner, you should have your uh, File Explorer icon. We can click on that and you go to the top where it says view and you can adjust things like whether or not you see the navigation pane which is generally on by default okay and under the navigation pane if you click on the little arrow the, the uh, navigation pane icon you click on the little down arrow there and you get these options expand to open folder Okay, if we check that one off, what that means is that if we go to, uh, say, Expand C here, and we go into Windows, and on the right-hand side we start picking, say if we go into Debug, and then we, uh, you'll see that on the left-hand side, the folders expand to show that which folder that you're actually in, uh, which is the kind of historic behavior pre-Vista pre or uh, certainly pre-Windows 7. Um, can't remember if Vista did that or not, but it, certainly XP normally expanded uh, to the folder. And why they stopped doing that, I don't know. I find it very inconvenient, but you can turn it back on there. Um, also, uh, we can have show all folders so that uh, anything that would normally be hidden by the system will still be visible to you and you can also choose to show favorites right which is uh, an area here where uh, for example if you were constantly going into your users folder you could grab that from below and pull it up and drop it up here so that it's in your favorite list and no matter what you're doing down here you know that it's easily accessible up here okay and if you want to remove something from your favorites list just right click and click remove okay now um, also in view we have a, a details pane that we can turn on which uh, basically say if we go into um, the root of C here and uh, let's also turn on hidden items so um, we can see th these other folders here if we go into program data uh, grab a file in there we can see information about that file when it was modified the size of it etc right so um, now we also have that information here in this particular uh, view but that's the detail view here if we were in uh, say the extra large icon view we wouldn't have that information along the side um, let's see if we go to it's an empty computer, so we've got to find some files. All right, there's another. We want a full list. Dun, da, da. System 32, we got lots in here. So this is a detail view, right? Uh, we can switch that to small icons or extra large icons. Uh, switch it to tiles. We can switch it to list, right? Where goes into as many columns as will fit there. Uh, large icons, which is probably what many of you are used to from uh, the other operating systems as the default. Um, content, right? We have that view. That's a new view. Medium icons. And back to details where we were originally. Now, um, there's all kinds of group op grouping options and, and such that you can uh, play with. You can sort by name, date modified, type size, date created, uh, authors if your files are tagged that way, tags if you're tagging your files again, you know, title, etc. You can go ascending or descending uh, alphabetically or numerically, right, uh, depending what your file names consist of. And you can also uh, choose the columns that you want to display depending on what you have, particularly if, if they're tagged files like pictures, etc. There's a whole bunch of information that can be pulled up and, uh, and shown in the details column. Okay? And uh, there's also the uh, items 
checkboxes thing here so if you turn that on then it makes it easy with your mouse to select uh, a group of files right one by one kind of going like so and um, of course to turn that off if it's annoying you you can simply uncheck it and uh, check off file name extensions if you want to be able to see you know all the DLLs and EXEs and TSPs etc that uh, can tell you a little bit more about what a file uh, consists of right and um, you can choose to hide selected items right if you had a selection going right and you could go into view and hide those um, I won't do that to my system files but we could uh, and that's basically the graphical uh, settings that you can play with immediately here but if you like the old style um, options window you can click on options here the little down arrow right there and choose change folder and search options and you'll get a much more traditional uh, little dialog box that will give you all kinds of things that you can check off and then select right um, including some of your uh, search options okay so that is an introduction to playing with the view on your uh, file explorer previously known as Windows Explorer in Microsoft Windows 8